one owner car guy and at the Mormon Temple, um, St. George, Utah. Actually was just rolling through here on my way up to Montana and I figured, you know what? I wonder what it'd be like to have four or five wives. And I just thought I'd come over here and check it out. Nah, I don't think they have that anymore, but, and I know it's just right in the sun there. I got a lot of these kind of churches with a little steeple everywhere. You see them everywhere in Utah. I'm gonna go right on up here. I know you can't go in or anything like that, but I do know you can go up on the grounds and see it. So that's what we'll do. Beautiful building. Very old too. Wish I knew the year. The Church of Jesus Christ, the Latter-day Saint. Yeah, St. George's Utah Temple. St. George, Utah Temple. Wow. Commenced November 9th, 1871. Dedicated April 6th. We're gonna go up here and look. Wow, they got a serious camera there, don't they? Serious cameras, bro, with some lenses. Like you wouldn't believe. Don't look at me, though. Don't look at me. What do you Well, it's definitely pretty. And I've definitely shown it. And I guess that's that. I'm gonna walk on out of here around the long way. <laughs> well, don't never know where to cut this stuff off. I just don't. Don't want to go in there and get indoctrinated either. But, oh heck, let's go. Might as well get indoctrinated. Can't hurt to learn a little something. <clears throat> San Diego and Montana, kind of back and forth. San Diego and Montana. Awesome. Well, I'm from South Dakota. South Dakota? So I never hear Montana very much. That's very good. Never welcome. walked around out there, but never stopped in here before. Okay, well, welcome. This is just in here. A little bit of the history of the St. George Temple um, and of St. George itself. How it got here, why it's here, how long it's been Holy here. smokes, it got hit by lightning right after it got built, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep, and it just burned till... Just this part right here. Just the top, huh? Yep. And so they rebuilt that and wow. looks how it does today. Let's see. How many temples is there? Is there four in Utah? Not that many, right? There's like 18. 18? Wow, I didn't know there was that many. Yeah, there's a lot. There's Logan, Brigham, Ogden, Bountiful. Come on, you know them all? Salt Lake, Draper, Ochre Mountain. Wow. Chippenogos, South Jordan, um, Verno, Monticello, Manti, St. George. Oh my word. There's another one. How many is that? There's 13. So there's 14. 
I just know there's eight missions in Utah. Did you say nine? What's a mission? The mission is a geographical location um, where missionaries like myself are called to, and we oh, gotcha. teach. So it's split into eight areas. Mm hmm which is a lot. Now, are you guys Mormon? Mm -hmm. I was going to say, you have to be to be able to nail every one of them. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty on top of it there. Yeah. Yeah. Impressive. Good job. No well, joke. That's, your whole life. that's very you impressive. <laughs> wow. So are you a little bit familiar with the church, or just kind of... Somewhat. I've breezed through stuff and learned about stuff from friends that have been and different things like that. Okay. Grew up Pentecostal. Okay. A lot of Bible type stuff. Never, in fact, when I walked in, my first question was going to be for you. How much is a Book of Mormon? Nothing. Really? Yeah. Because I'd like to have one if okay. that guys be awesome. Well, this is awesome. So inside here we have um, 23 questions, a lot of kind of FYI questions about why the Book of Mormon why it's here, what kind of questions it answers. Um, and then right here is a mormon.org card. Um, I've seen all your commercials and stuff. That's pretty really? cool. It's been kicking up in the last two years or so, YouTube and everything. Cool. I've seen them. They're pretty cool. I've been on my mission for almost a year, so I don't know anything. From about South Dakota? Dakota? Mm hmm Wow. Yeah. And how long do you have to go? Two years? Um, sisters only go a year and a half. And men go how long? Two years. Yeah. Hmm. So, so yeah, mormon.org, and you can... Scan this or something. I don't know how it works. The smartphone thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know yeah. how it works either, but Where my head? I have my kid do it. But um, it just talks about a lot of, uh, one of the biggest questions that people have are, are Mormons Christians? And of course we are. Our, our, the name of the church is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Christians didn't think so until Mitt so, Romney ran. And then, yeah. they, and then they're like, oh yeah, we had good people. Oh, I tell you, <laughs> everything changed all of a sudden. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it's I mean, all along I've been like, yeah. hey, you're all hey. believing God. We're all the same. There's still a little bit of differences, but there's yeah. a lot of the same. A lot of the same. A lot of the same. Sure. But like, then you get somebody in this. Well, now everybody's behind it. Yeah. Now all of a sudden we're all in a big same family. Yeah, for kind sure. Kind of different so how funny. that worked. So then, yeah, so you can take this. And these are just a couple um, introductions. 3 Nephi 11 is really great. And then Moroni 10, 3 through 5 is a promise. So that is And, and then you're going to write your favorite one right there for me to read, right? Because I know nothing about the books. I only know the Bible. Okay. If it's that hard, you can do your favorite, too. Oh, there's just so many. Okay. Um, everything's all marked in mine. She's used that thing up, man. It's all colored. And, and it looks like, looks like my Bible. box. It looks exploded. like my Bible. That's good. Let's see. Okay. This is a good one. I hope you can read my handwriting. Oh, I'm sure. Okay. So Alma 32 is really, really good. Um... It's all about faith and how we can have more faith, and it's really good too. Um, okay, Second Nephi two, I'll give you this one too. Okay. Um, this is about we believe um, that after we die, that we'll continue to live on, that we don't just stop and we're just non-existent. So this just kind of explains a little bit about what we call the plan of salvation, mm -hmm. or the, the, the plan of happiness, um, and where we go after our, our spirits leave our body, and it's just... Yeah, you're really thinking, good. you're also saying that you believe in more of a actual live mental state versus just spirit type mm -hmm. thing, more than Christian religion or whatever, different yeah. Baptist type stuff. Or yeah. I think so. I mean, I don't really know a whole lot about other religions. I mean, a little bit. I was the only Mormon kid in my school. Not, so. not that many Mormon people in South Dakota? Mm -mm, like, really? No. But so all my friends were like Catholic, Catholic and Lutheran, and I learned a lot about what, kind of some of their beliefs. But we believe that um, once, once we pass from this life, we'll have an opportunity to get our bodies back and we'll be resurrected and we'll continue to live. Because I'm used to this body. I'd like to get it back. <laughs> and, they'll, and they'll be perfected. Oh, there he is. It doesn't snow here much, does it? No, and I really miss it. Kind of makes me sad. God has a sense of humor because I'm serving my mission in the desert. Oh, yeah, pretty ridiculous. much. In case. <laughs> but it's been great. I love it here. Thank you. All right, safe travels, and sorry yeah. I have to travel through Wyoming. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no Wyoming thing. first. We cut that one out. Do you? Oh, yeah, that's, that's no job. fun. You, even Utah is better than Wyoming, right? Oh. Yes. Well, thank you. <laughs> nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Have, Have a good one.
Well, that was the Mormon temple. Kind of fun, kind of interesting, and definitely something we just did. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, StockGambles.com. We'll talk to you.